Hello, my friends. <laughs> are you in there today? Phoebe and I were doing our thrift store shopping this morning because we are all about repurposing and we came across a gem. I couldn't wait to get home and share it with you. It's a book about veganizing your life. It's called, oh, I should mention, I use sticks as bookmarks because then when I'm done with it, I can simply toss it back to Mother Earth. Anyway, back to the book. It's called Vegan, Staying Healthy by... F what, Phoebes? Oh, well, would you look at that? Vegan, Staying Hungry by Fern. I do enjoy having the author's name in a scratch and sniff. <laughs> I've been smelling fern all day. All right, let's move to the first stick. We picked out some treasures to share with you. Here you go, Mother Earth. <laughs> I've had this before. Vegan chili. One cup of swamp water, and then you add some pebbles. Now, I wanted to point out this recipe to you. Do not add rocks. You could get yourself an extra trip to the dentist. Okay, moving on. Uh, when I came across this gem of a recipe, I was a little disappointed that it's summer. <laughs> Leftover Christmas potpourri, lightly simmered on the stovetop, makes a quick and easy soup. Boy, I can't wait for those holiday decorations to come back out. We need to get ourselves some Christmas potpourri. Am I right? <laughs> Next. Oh, this is just a general tip that I found that you can just apply to any recipe you make. Making your favorite recipes vegan is super easy. Just assemble your usual ingredients and remove the will to live. The will to live? Oh, I think I missed that part. I don't actually really care for that, so I'm just going to get rid of that, and I'll actually put it aside, and I'll save this as a snack for later. <clears throat> All about repurposing. <laughs> Here you go, Mother Earth. I could have written this one myself. The best vegan recipe is a bottle of wine. Cheers to that. Next. Oh, can't wait to try this. Vegan queso is just sawdust and sadness. Phoebes, can you make a mental note of that? Next time we go shopping, we need to pick up some sawdust. I can't wait to try some vegan queso. Oh, and this one just warmed my heart. Soaking a garlic clove in rice wine before mincing it adds a unique aroma and also numbs the clove so it barely feels the pain. I think we can actually apply that to all of our lives. Moving on. Oh, this one I couldn't wait to try. Vegan rice cakes. First you purchase an appliance, then you remove the styrofoam packaging and you eat it. Well, Phoebe and I ordered an appliance this morning in the interest of saving time, and we've already unwrapped it. Here is our vegan rice cake. I can't wait to try it. Yep. Mmm. Very delicious. Make a note, Phoebes. We need to order more appliances. <clears throat> and finally, in our wonderful book that we found at the thrift store because life is all about repurposing, this tip will cover anything that you eat or any ingredient you use to cook. Just keep this in mind. Everything that tastes good, you can't use that. And there you have it, my friends. What a terrific find. What a glorious day. Pick some of your favorites and try it.